Hello and welcome to what I hope is going to be a week-long uh, reading vlog. Uh, and sorry for the bad lighting. Um, it's it's something we're just going to have to live with. Uh, it's getting dark early now. Um, it's winter almost. Uh, and uh, right now it's like six o'clock in the evening and this was as good a lighting as I could get basically. So uh yeah it's winter we're just going to have to live with bad lighting for a few months i guess uh, unless i can film in unless i can film during the day which i can't always do um but anyway here we are for a vlog um i've been sort of wanting to do more vlogs for a while i've only done two vlogs on this channel so far and i i, I really enjoyed making those um so I assumed, or I sort of planned to do vlogs more often than I have. Um, but it's just, um, I kind of plan to do like vlogs for readathons and stuff, but I haven't actually done a whole lot of readathons. Um, so I finally just decided to do like some random uh, week-long reading vlogs here and there. So this, I guess, is the first one of those um, I want to do. Or I hope to do at least one vlog a month, uh, because like I said, I really enjoy those. And I always enjoy watching other people's vlogs as well, so I hope that this is something that you might enjoy too. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's currently Monday. Uh, I've sort of had a bit of a travel weekend. Um, I went to visit or to stay with my parents in my childhood home for the weekend. Uh, and I just got back like a couple of hours ago. Um, it's, they live like a four hour drive away from me, um, so just get, got, so I just got back around four o'clock. Um, and the good thing about doing a vlog this week is the fact that I actually have this week off from work, which uh, will hopefully give me a lot more time to read. Um, that's my plan anyway. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about what I'm currently reading. Um, so this weekend, while I was at my parents, I started uh, this book, A Storm of Swords, Part 1, Steel and Snow, by George R. R. Martin, which is the third book in the series. Uh, and some of you have probably watched me talk about how long it's taken me to finally get to this book. So I am so happy to finally have started it. Um, and I've actually made some decent progress as well. Um, I'm currently on page like 140, I think. And I only started this weekend. And also when I'm staying at my parents, I don't always have that much time to read because I'm doing other stuff with them. Um, so the fact that I got to page 140 this weekend is actually, I think, pretty good. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Uh, so this is definitely a book that I'm going to continue reading this week. Uh, but if I have time or if I feel like it, I might al also start uh, this book. The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. Um, so this is a mystery thriller and it's a lot shorter uh, than A Storm of Swords. So if I feel like reading something different and maybe something a little bit uh, quicker and easier, then I might start um, The Silent Patient as well. But uh, we're going to have to see. If I'm super into the George R. Martin book, I might just want to read that. Um, and also I plan to start a audiobook this week. Um, I don't know which one yet. Uh, it's going to be one from my November TBR. I have three audiobooks on my TBR for this month, so I'll start one of them. Uh, but uh, I probably won't start until tomorrow, so I'll make a decision then. Um, so yeah, I guess that was, uh, was the introduction to this uh, reading vlog. Uh, hopefully I'll get some good reading this week. Um, so uh, yeah. For now, I think I'm just going to... I haven't actually done a lot of uh, phys physical reading today because I've been traveling. So I'm going to just sit down now and try and read a little bit of A Storm of Swords. So um, I guess I'll talk to you later. Good morning. 
Um, this is the view from my apartment. Um, it was supposed to rain non-stop all week, but it's actually not looking so, so bad right now. So I think I'm going to go outside for a hike um, and just take the opportunity before it starts pouring again. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I am ready to go outside. Um, I've put on my rain gear just in case because um, you just never know. Um, it'll probably start to rain before I get back inside, so I figured um, that might be the wisest thing to do. Um, I think I'm going to start uh, the audiobook for uh, The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis while I'm outside. Um, I think that's the shortest audiobook on my TBR for November. So I figured it might be nice uh, to start off with something quick. Especially since I'm reading a pretty long physical book right now. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're just going to do it. So, it's a little bit later. Um, I've actually just finished filming my October wrap-up. Um, let me just show you. Um, so, here is my <laughs> filming uh, setup, I guess. I have I put the camera on that chair on top of that stack of books right there. And then I have my computer with my notes about the books that I've read. And I'm sitting on this, like, I guess it's a workout mat. Uh, I'm not really using it to work out, so it's good that I'm using it for something at least. Um, and then I have the stack of books that I've talked about uh, right there. So I'm just, I guess, going to clean up um, these things now. Um, and like, let me just turn you back around. Um, there you go. Um, like I said, I went for a hike earlier uh, and I started um, The Horse and His Boy. Uh, I didn't really know what to expect from that book. Um, I've been warned that it might not be the best book in the series, so I guess I went into it with very low expectations. Uh, but so far, I'm enjoying it just fine. Um, these books are not very long, uh, so I think I'm like a third of the way through it. Um, I checked in my physical book before and uh, it looks like I've read 5 out of 15 chapters. So I'm um, definitely hoping to be done with that book this week. Uh, so yeah, so far so good, I guess. Another thing that I wanted to mention, because it's something that I'm actually quite proud of, uh, is the fact that yesterday, uh, before I started this vlog, um, I finished my 100th book of 2020. Um, so I've read 100 books this year, and it's the first time that I've ever read 100 books in one year. Uh, so this was, the, this was my goal before the year started, and I am very happy to have finished it uh, in early November. I did not expect it to go this well. Um, I thought I had to struggle to get 200 books Last year I read 95 books, so I knew that it would be possible for me to get to 100. Um, but it's kind of, it's actually been quite easy, which has surprised me. Um, so yeah, I wanted to mention that. Um, I'm really, really happy with my reading this year. Um, and just 100 books was sort of this, like a, like a few years ago, I never uh, imagined that I could ever read. 100 books in one year. So this feels like a little bit of accomplishment, which is why I wanted to mention it. Hello, um, it's now Wednesday. Um, I'm about to head out. I'm going to go get some groceries and uh, I might drop by and get a haircut as well. Um, my hair is getting a little bit long. Um, but I'm, I, I, I'm just going to have to see if it's too busy, I won't do it. Um, but it would be great if I could get that done as well. Um, so uh, I'm going to go and do that, uh, but when I get back I will talk a little bit about my reading. I've made some progress in A Storm of Swords, so um, I'll uh, make an update about that. But first I am heading out. I'm back and I went to the hairdresser. So now I have 
less hair. I don't know if you can see. It's quite a bit shorter, actually. Um, I don't actually like going to the hairdresser, so it's always such a relief when that's done, because now I don't have to go again for a while. So I'm pretty happy. Um, but yeah, I promised an update about like my book, A Storm of Swords. Uh, I'm actually making pretty good progress. I'm about halfway through. Um, like I was kind of prepared for this to take a while uh, since it's it's a quite a big book. Um, but I also seem to remember that I read these books pretty slowly. Um, but I'm actually now I'm actually reading this a lot quicker than I expected. Um, so if I keep going like this, I might actually finish it this week, which I didn't expect. So I'm very much enjoying it. Um, it's just as intense and um, engaging and everything as the previous books have been. There's just um, so many storylines going on in this series. There, there's so much like politics. There are like alliances, um, and like everyone sort of has their own agenda and. Uh, the story always takes uh, turns that I'm not expecting, um, which is always uh, fun. It's such a brutal world though, and I'm constantly like scared for my favorite characters. Um, but yeah, I very much enjoying it. Um, so I think I'm going to go and do some uh, cleaning and stuff now, and then I'm going to get back to it and hopefully I'll get a little bit further into this today but yeah so far so good I'm enjoying it a lot and I can't wait to continue gray outside today. Um, I don't know if you can see it but it's just raining non-stop so I think I'm just going to stay inside today. It's Thursday and I just got out of bed. Um, I spent some hours this morning just reading in bed which was super nice. Um, my hair looks so straight today. Um, it was straightened at the hairdressers yesterday and I haven't washed, washed my hair since I was there so uh, it's not going to look like this after I wash my hair because I don't usually bother with straightening my hair so yeah. Um, so the plan for today, uh, I think right now I'm going to have some breakfast and then I'm going to uh, mop my floors. And then I think later today I am actually going to do some baking, um, which is not something that I do very often. I don't really enjoy baking, uh, but what I do enjoy is like home baked things. Uh, it's like my favorite thing in the world. Um, so whenever I have like some extra time, like now that I have a week off from work, I will usually do some baking and then I will have home baked things in my freezer to take out and enjoy when I feel like it. So I think that's the plan for today. And also, obviously, I'm going to continue reading. Um, I'm making, still making very good progress with uh, Storm of Swords. But I think I'm actually going to listen to The Horse and His Boy while I bake. So. That's going to be great.
also done some laundry so I've had a pretty productive day so far um, but now I'm about to sit down and continue reading A Storm of Swords I'm on page 415 so I only have about <coughs> uh, 150 pages left because the last uh, 50 40-50 pages of this it's actually like the list of names and families and stuff uh, and that list is super helpful because there is so many characters in this book or this series uh, if I didn't have that list I would be lost so I keep going back and forth all the time to checking who different person checking who different people are and who they're connected and how they're connected to each other <coughs> So, and also the maps uh, in the front is super helpful because I, I'm the kind of person who always has to know where in the country or the world a uh, certain character is at all times. So that helps as well. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention about uh, this series, um, I actually haven't watched uh, much of the TV show uh, that this and that is based on this series. Um, I watched some of it. Um, what I did was when I had read the first book, I watched the first season. And then a couple of years later, when I had read the second book, I watched the second season. Um, so that's how much I have watched of the TV show. And the plan was always to uh, watch the third season after I'd read the third book. Um, the thing is, I don't actually love the TV series. Uh, I think it's good, uh, but I think the books are way better, at least so far. Um, so at this point, I don't really have much of an urge to continue the TV show. Um, I mean, I kind of want to because I have enjoyed it and I have enjoyed sort of uh, comparing the book to the TV series and and looked for like similarities and differences <clears throat> and I've enjoyed like watching uh, the characters come to life in the TV show uh, but like I said I don't I don't love it as much as the books um, so I don't know and I've also heard that the TV show like the ending people were pretty disappointed by the ending of the TV show so at this point I don't know uh, if I should continue or not. Um, if you watch the TV show uh, and you have an opinion, then let me know. Um, because uh, right now I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm going to get back to this now. Uh, I don't think it will be that, that long before I finish it actually. So, uh, And like I said, I think I said in the beginning of the week, that I might need to take a break somewhere uh, while reading this and maybe read something else. Uh, but I don't really want to read anything else. I am so into this book, so I really just want to keep going. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Hello and happy Friday. Um, I have finished a book today. Um, I went for a hike earlier today and I finished the audiobook for uh, The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis. Um, so yeah, I, I feel sort of the same way about it as I felt about the other books in the series. Um, I guess I haven't really said much about what this book is about. Um, in this book we're meeting a boy named Shasta and he has grown up with a fisherman. Um, his parents are no longer alive so this fisherman raised him and one day a stranger comes to their home and offers to buy Chester from this fisherman and uh, then Chester decides to run away uh, with the help of a talking horse named Bree and eventually they also meet a girl named Aravis and her horse which is also a talking horse uh, named Wim uh, and the story sort of goes from there. Um, so yeah, it was fine. I Like I said uh, in, I think, my TBR video, uh, 
I don't really love these books, but like they're just a little bit too simple, I guess, for me to get invested enough to really care. Uh, so I, when I when I'm reading these books, I'm always like thinking that I should have read them as a kid because I probably would have enjoyed them more then. At this point, they're just a little bit too predictable and too simple. Um, but yeah, it was fine. Uh, it's a quick book to get through. Um, so uh, yeah. And I've also... This is how far... This is how far I am into uh, A Storm of Swords. I just passed the 500 page. Um, so I have about 70 pages left, I think. Um, so, will I be able to finish this book today as well? Maybe. Um, I don't know. It depends on how much I feel like reading today, I guess. But yeah, it's going well and I'm still really enjoying the book, so... I'm going to sit here and continue reading now. Hello and good morning. Um, it's Saturday morning and I am coming to you from my bed. And the reason for that is, I just finished A Storm of Swords, part one, Steel and Snow. Um, this was so good. Uh, I was just so invested, like I've been in the other books as well. Um, this this series, it's so dark though. It's actually, it's actually way darker than I usually like. Uh, but there's just something about uh, the intricacy of the story and like all the characters and all their like journeys and you just never know what's gonna happen next and I love that. Um, I don't know if I would give this book five stars though like I have with the others. Um, I guess with this being part one of a book, um, the story, it didn't, li right, nothing much really happened in here, I guess. Uh, the story didn't have much of a climax. Um, uh, I mean, things did pick up a little bit in like the last two chapters, maybe. Uh, but the story as a whole in here felt a little bit flat. Uh, I was still super invested, so like no complaints, but maybe this is more of like a 4.5 stars, but I'm gonna have to think about that for a little bit. I absolutely loved it though, um, so I am just so excited to pick up the next book, hopefully soon. Um, so now I'm just gonna move on to something very different, which is The Silent Patient which I don't know anything about, other than I think it's a mystery thriller. So, that's gonna be exciting. It's a little bit later, um, I'm no longer in bed. I've been reading um, almost 50 pages of The Silent Patient. Um, so I, I assume that this, the author of this book was a woman. Uh, I guess I just heard that the main character of the book was a woman, so I just assumed that the author was as well, and that Alex, in this case, was a female name, but it's actually written by a man. So that was completely wrong. And also, I assumed that this was American. Uh, but it's actually, the book is actually set in London, and the author, according to this little text in the front of the book. He was born in Cyprus and lives in London. So I was wrong uh, on that as well. Uh, but I just figured I'd give like a little synopsis on this before I get too far into it. So basically the silent patient um, is referring to a woman who uh, shot and killed her husband apparently. Uh, and after that event, she never spoke again. Um, and now she lives in this um, uh, psychiatric institution, I guess. Um, and she hasn't spoken uh, for years. 
and the story is uh, or this book is told from the perspective of a therapist and he has been interested in this woman's case for years and so when a jo- when a job uh, opens up at the institution where she lives uh, he applies for the job and he gets it and now he is just very determined um, to, to figure out what happened to this woman. So that's pretty much what's happened so far. Uh, and I sort of assume that as I get further into this, I, I'm i not going to say too much about what's going on because of spoilers. Uh, so this book has so far has been really quick to read. The chapters are very short. I'm currently on page 47 and I'm already on chapter 9. So that sort of helps. Uh, I always like uh, short chapters because I feel like it helps like drive the story forward. So um, this so far has been a very quick read. So And the book also isn't very long. I think it's just over 300 pages. 340 or something. So not very long. Um, so yeah, so far so good. I am enjoying it so far. So um, I guess I'm just going to sit here for a little while longer and read this book. actually sunny outside which means that I have decent lighting for once um, so that's nice um, I figured I should make a quick reading update uh, I'm currently about halfway through uh, the silent patients um, so far so good I guess I mean I'm not usually I don't usually like domestic thrillers uh, which I feel like this one is um, so because of that, I haven't had like huge expectations for this. Um, I've been intrigued enough to check it out, obviously. And so far, like it's fine. Uh, I'm not loving it, uh, but I'm intrigued. So I guess the final half of it is going to determine, uh, determine how I feel about it. So um, yeah, I am... Uh, going to continue this one in a little bit. Um, but I also started a new book today. Um, I was out for a hike and I started uh, the audiobook for uh, The Night Swim? The Night Swim, I think it was called, uh, by Megan Golden. Uh, and as you've probably realized by now, I do pretty much all my audiobook listening while hiking, uh, at least these days when I'm working from home. And don't have a commute to work so uh, but anyway I started that book it's really good so far um, it's basically about a true crime podcast and uh, the woman who runs that podcast is named Rachel and she is currently covering like a rape case a rape trial for her podcast uh, so she's in this little this small town to cover that case uh, and while she's there, she is contacted by another woman. Uh, that woman, uh, her sister was killed many years ago. And now she wants Rachel to look into her sister's case because 
um, that case was never solved. Uh, and this book just works really well on audio because uh, we basically we get to hear like parts of the podcast. So I feel like the audiobook is definitely to, the way to go with this one. Um, but I'm only like I guess an hour, an hour and a half into the book so far. Uh, but I'm really liking it, so I'm excited to continue that one. Um, so yeah, that was my reading update, I think. Um, so now I'm going to sit down. I'm going to continue reading The Silent Patient. And like this is really quick to read. Like uh, as I said, I always, I'm all, already halfway into it. Um, so yeah, this is super quick. And um, I'm going to continue that now. It's Sunday evening um, and I'm here to wrap up the vlog. Um, I want to get this edited. I mean, I started editing it. Editing it. I've actually edited most of it, but I want to get it finished uh, tonight so that I can hopefully upload it uh, pretty soon. I've been reading a little bit more of The Silent Patient. I'm currently on page 200 out of, I think, 340. Um, so I won't be able to finish that book today. Uh, so unfortunately I won't be able to share like, my final thoughts on this book uh, in the vlog. So I guess you'll have to wait until my November wrap up to see like my final thoughts on this book. Uh, what I said about it earlier today, it still stands. Um, like I'm not necessarily loving this book, uh, but it's keeping me interested and it's keeping me going. And it's like I said, super fast to read. So like I'm still intrigued, um, but yeah, I'm curious to see how things will be explained in the end because I feel like that's going to very much determine uh, how I feel about this book. Um, so yeah, I guess this is sort of the end of the vlog. I've had a good reading week. Uh, obviously it's helped that I have been working, so I had plenty of time to read. Um, but I've also been... Like you saw earlier in the vlog, I so enjoyed um, reading Storm of Swords. And I also read uh, the audiobook of... Uh, what's the name? Uh, the Horse and His Boy. Oh my god. The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis. And just in general, I feel like I've had such a good start to November. I still feel really, really motivated. I'm in such a reading mood. And I just hope to keep it going, really. Uh, for the rest of the month and hopefully beyond that as well. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. Like I said, I I want to make more vlogs because I really enjoy making them. I find that I'm a lot more relaxed on camera for some reason when I'm making vlogs. I feel like I can just like talk and ramble on and it doesn't matter so much if it's like super correct or uh, if I'm saying like everything that I plan to say because with other videos I usually make a plan and here I just don't have much of a plan really. Um, so it's making me for some reason just feeling a lot more relaxed and I think maybe you can tell as well. Um, so yeah, more vlogs are hopefully coming. Um, that's definitely the plan anyway. So yeah, I hope, hope, I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog um, and uh, I hope you've had a good week so I guess that's it for now so I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye